show you how to make a simple recipe of famous Filipino ubi cheese pandesal. First, we'll put the milk. Then, sugar. Then, sumadan natin ang salt. Okay. And, ubi flavoring. This is the activated yeast. If you can see, the bubbles is there. So we'll mix it. Then, one piece of egg. Then next, we'll add the all-purpose flour. So very important na isisip natin yung flour. Okay, then let's mix. Pag ganito na yung texture niya, pwede na natin i-add yung butter. This is soft butter. Unsalted. We will add the ubi halaya. This ubi halaya is homemade as well. Ginawa ko siya yesterday. Then we will put this one in the mixture. So it will give nice taste to our dough. Then continue mixing. Hanggang sa makumbine lahat siya. Then, we need to remove in the mixing bowl, put in the lid. Okay. Then, knead lang natin siya hanggang sa ma-develop yung Gluten ng dough. Hindi na siya naging sticky. So, continuous lang ang kneading. Alright, it's done already. Okay, so, lagi natin siya sa bowl. Let's put a little bit on the bowl. Okay, then, just cover the film. So, 
So this is our dough. We need to rest this dough for about 30 to 1 hour. The longer, the better. Then, after that, we will start in cutting and putting the fillings, the ubi, and the cheese. Okay, see you after 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, ito na yung ating dough. So, we start na natin siya to cut. Ito yung ating breadcrumbs, ang ating ubi halaya, and ang ating cheese. So, yan. So, flour. Then, we'll scale our dough into 70 grams each Sixteen pieces. So now we will put filling. We will put first the ube, around fifteen to twenty grams. Then we will put the cheese, the middle, then we close. Then we roll a little bit. So, ulitin lang natin siya hanggang sa matapos natin. Okay, 
wait lang natin siyang maluto then try na natin kung anong lasa nung tinapay natin <tinyo> Thank you.